On August 5th, an enormous chunk of ice, roughly 97 square miles in size, broke off the Peterman Glacier along the northwestern coast of Greenland. The glacier lost about a quarter of its 40-mile-long floating ice shelf, the largest in the northern hemisphere. It's not unusual for large icebergs to calve off the Peterman Glacier, but this new one is the largest to form in the Arctic since 1962. So these changes are real and they're happening. And what we're trying to do at NASA is, like I say, to go out and characterize this ice, understand how it works. How is it affected by ocean currents? How is it affected by winds? How is it affected by sunlight? So that we can correlate that with the changes we see in the atmosphere and develop better predictive models. Now, why should you care if you don't live in the Arctic areas? That's a really good question. And the fact is this. All this stuff we talk about, when you retreat the ice cover and you heat the ocean up with more sunlight, you also have to think about there's going to be more water evaporating to the atmosphere. There's a lot of other exchanges going on. That's going to change the way that the Earth's climate works. And we expect weather patterns over North America to change. Now, this stuff is very, very difficult to model. But the most recent models suggest is that if we lose the Arctic ice cap, we may have more drought in North America. So these are important things for us to learn about and plan for and deal with.